I've been performing since I was five years old, so I haven't had what you've called an ordinary life. It's undeniable that Michael Jackson's life was far from ordinary, marked by fame and complex family dynamics that exposed him to many difficult challenges. His passing on June 25th, 2009 is one of those moments that sticks in everyone's memory. It sent shockwaves worldwide, dominating headlines for weeks and prompting an unprecedented period of public mourning. Some deaths become iconic moments in culture, and when they do, it's common for unusual theories to emerge. Michael Jackson, a celebrity of immense stature, has had his fair share of elaborate conspiracy theories surrounding his death. Now it seems the latest claim is that the King of Pop might have been intentionally harmed by someone in authority, and that the same someone has made his family lose everything. At least that looks like what some people believe after hearing his son speak. It's kind of what each of us want to do and kind of makes things that people hopefully enjoy but also can benefit their lives. Michael Jackson privately expressed intense fears about certain matters, a sentiment shared by some of his family members. Now, let's shift our focus to his family a legendary dynasty that has left an indelible mark on modern music. From their early Motown success as the Jackson 5, to Janet's groundbreaking achievements, and Michael's lasting legacy as the King of Pop. Their impact is undeniable. However, despite their status as music legends, the family members haven't always enjoyed a lifetime of financial security. Some have faced persistent financial challenges as their stardom waned. But despite all of that, they appear to stick together. He did not want to be the one, in his words, that harmed Michael Jackson. Do you not believe him when he says that? I do not believe him when he says that because we know our brother. Bankruptcy, foreclosures, divorce settlements, and unpaid child support. These are the financial struggles that have shaped the less fortunate members of the Jackson family dynasty. Let's first talk about the oldest Jackson, Jackie Jackson. Originally, Jackie had aspirations of becoming a professional baseball player. However, in 1964, he abandoned that dream to become one of the founding members of the Jackson 5, contributing his falsetto vocals. His primary source of wealth came from his time with the group, and he also tried his hand at a solo career on a couple of occasions. In the 1980s, Jackie turned his attention to producing soundtracks for movies like Touch and Go, The Running Man, and Burglar. Later in the 2000s, he ventured into running two record companies, Jesco Records and Futurist Entertainment. Although it seems that his previous record labels are no longer in operation, in a recent interview, Jackie was asked whether he would prefer to have the life of his highly successful younger brother, Michael Jackson. He responded by saying, that's what everyone in this industry desires. Today, he is active as a producer and runs the record label Critically Amused, which is notably known for representing the hip-hop duo Gold Lemonade. Gold Lemonade is a, a group, a duo, is um, Leah, DJ producer, female DJ producer, and myself, Jack. And a vocalist. Jackie also took on a role in and served as an executive producer for The Jacksons, a family dynasty docuseries. He continues to perform alongside his brothers in shows worldwide, opting to maintain a relatively low profile, which is reflected in his relatively modest estimated wealth. His personal life remains mostly private. Notably, according to The Jacksons' website, Jackie has been actively involved in philanthropic endeavors, raising substantial sums of money for cancer diabetes, and AIDS research. Additionally, he has contributed as a board member to the music-oriented nonprofit organization It's Time for Kids. Beautiful music in America and around the world. And it, it seems like in our own country where we live at, the United States. Next to Jackie Jackson, Jermaine Jackson gained fame as the other lead singer in the original Jackson 5 and stands as the sole member, aside from Michael, to enjoy some degree of solo success outside the group. Although he didn't reach the same stratospheric success as his brother, Jermaine released 14 solo albums and scored multiple number one hits on the US, R&B, and international charts. Nevertheless, his personal life challenges have taken a toll on his finances, leaving him facing financial difficulties. No, well, he's um, 
the timing was just perfect. His album was out before mine, and mine came out. Right. I guess we both hit the charts at the same time. In 1994, Jermaine Jackson married Alejandra Genevieve Oajaja, and they had two children together. However, when they divorced in 2003, Jermaine purchased his brother Tito Jackson's Calabasas home for $550,000 and was required to pay $3,000 per month in child support. Despite earning $450,000 for his appearance on the UK Celebrity Big Brother in 2007, Jermaine asserted that he had not earned any income the following year and sought to have a judge reduce his monthly support payments. This is what his attorney said live in an interview. Jermaine Jackson, Michael Jackson's brother, is stuck in Africa. Believe it or not, he's actually outside of the country and he failed to pay his child support. During that period, Jermaine stated that his monthly expenses amounted to $3,000 while his income was only $1,000. Nevertheless, he was eventually ordered to pay Oajaja a sum of $80,000 in overdue child support payments. Jermaine expressed his frustration, saying, I'm not rich like Michael. In 2013, he encountered legal troubles once more, facing the possibility of jail time for failing to pay $12,000 in child support despite having spent $160,000 on a new Ferrari. He further said, I do not object to an appropriate level of child support. However, the reality is that Alejandra has knowingly misled this court into believing that I have income which I do not. I currently do not have any employment. Thus, I find myself in a catch-22 situation where, while I need money, I also need to be very cognizant of what employment I do undertake so as not to degrade my market value and ability to obtain legitimate work in the future. Apart from his earnings from UK reality shows, Jermaine has made several television appearances over the years. In 2008, he participated in the reality TV series on Country. Additionally, he starred in and served as an executive producer for the docuseries The Jacksons, a family dynasty. The show offered a glimpse into their lives as they prepared for a reunion tour and aired one season on the A&E network between 2009 and 2010. Jermaine Jackson also made an appearance on an episode of Celebrity Wife Swap, alongside his third wife, Halima Rashid. They swapped spouses with Daniel Baldwin's wife. Unfortunately, this marriage didn't last either, and it led to financial difficulties for Jermaine once again. In 2016, Halima filed for divorce, and according to TMZ, she revealed that a judge had ordered Jermaine to pay her $2,500 per month starting in 2018. There was a big monster truck coming over to the house. And he, it was like 10 in the morning and he wanted me to see it. I told him I would be at the commons. However, for an entire year, he hadn't provided any financial support. Despite Halima's claims that Jermaine was earning between $50,000 and $500,000 each month during their relationship. According to court documents reported by The Blast, Jermaine's income was still substantial, with monthly royalties bringing in nearly $14,000, while his monthly expenses amounted to $10,000. To alleviate his financial difficulties, Jermaine's mother Catherine has reportedly provided assistance. It's been said that he receives a monthly financial support of $12,000 from her, which is sourced from her stake in his brother Michael's estate. And I never want to feel like that again. Had you never feared this day would come? Never, never thought this day would come. Then comes Marlon Jackson. Marlon, the sixth child of the Jackson family, played a crucial role as one of the founding members of the Jackson Five. While he was a skilled singer and songwriter, his true talents were in dancing. He took on the role of the group's primary choreographer, earning him the nickname Danciest Jackson among his siblings. After a successful stint with the Jacksons, Marlon attempted a solo career, but his debut album didn't resonate with audiences as he had hoped. And I, I've always wanted to uh, do a solo album, and I've always wanted to pursue a solo career, but. I feel that God has a time for everybody, and I think that this is my time. Marlon's solo album, Baby Tonight, found success on the R&B album charts but didn't make a significant impact on the Billboard 200, reaching only number 175. Unfortunately, he never released another record after that. At one point, Marlon lived in a spacious 6,700-square-foot home in Encino, California, complete with a tennis court and pool, but he sold it for $1.16 million in 1992. In the 1990s, Marlon showcased his business acumen by co-founding the major broadcasting cable, NBC Network, a significant achievement as it was the first cable TV network to be both minority-owned and operated. He played practical jokes on practically everybody. As as young kids, that's what you do. That's what and, you do. 
and I guess I, I still carry it through some from time to time. But NBC underwent a rebranding in 2004, becoming the Black Family Channel, but it was later sold in 2007. In 2008, Marlon's financial situation became so dire that he was reportedly seen working as a shelf stalker at a San Diego supermarket, as reported by the New York Post. There are some things that we do not concur with that were said about some of the executives of the estate. Today, Marlon Jackson is not considered a millionaire, although he continues to perform with his brothers as part of the Jacksons. He also upholds the family tradition of giving back through his charitable organization, the Study Peace Foundation. The Study Peace Foundation is dedicated to fostering unity in communities worldwide. They achieve this by implementing programs that encourage individuals to create and live in peaceful environments. Uniting the world, to me, is, is important uh, because in order us Peace cannot be conquered by force. Randy, the youngest brother in the Jackson family, is recognized for his role as one of the members of the Jacksons. He joined the band in 1975, taking Jermaine's place when Jermaine decided to stay with Motown. In the late 1970s, Randy aimed to kickstart his solo career with his debut album, How Can I Be Sure? Unfortunately, the album never saw the light of day due to Randy's involvement in a car accident. Randy Jackson, the younger brother of the late pop legend Michael Jackson, has been hospitalized in Southern California. Randy made a later attempt to revive his solo career by forming Randy and the Gypsies, a solo band that released one album in 1989 before disbanding. Subsequently, he shifted his focus to working behind the scenes in the music industry, collaborating with his brother Michael on songwriting and recording. Additionally, Randy took on the role of director at MJJ Productions, overseeing the official MJJ Source website. Something that we've always done, something of course that my brother did on all of his career, and something that we stand for, and just continue what we do. However, it's worth noting that he has encountered both financial and personal controversies throughout his career. In January 1991, Randy faced legal troubles when he was charged with battery for assaulting his wife Eliza Schaefer and their seven-month-old daughter, Stevana. In response to these charges, he received a two-year probation sentence and was mandated to attend a domestic violence program, which he failed to do. Later that same year, he was sentenced to 30 days in a mental hospital, and he was also required to complete the remaining of his probation along with a year-long domestic violence rehabilitation program. Randy's legal problems significantly impacted his financial situation, leading him to file for bankruptcy in 1996. This bankruptcy case required Randy to forfeit all his assets, including his shares in Modern Records Incorporated. However, in May 1998, an arrest warrant was issued when Randy failed to surrender the stock as ordered. Furthermore, in 2001, he pleaded guilty to bankruptcy fraud. This charge stemmed from his failure to disclose a $21,000 sports car as an asset in his 1996 bankruptcy filing. However, the Jackson family is not the ideal one. The Jackson siblings have always been into altercations and feuds with each other. In 1975, the Jacksons made a significant move by leaving Motown Records and signing with CBS Epic Records. Jermaine Jackson chose to stay with Motown. During the same year, the Jacksons continued as a group, and they introduced another sibling, Randy, as a replacement for Jermaine. Randy had always been part of the family's variety show and acts, but had not previously been part of the Jackson 5 due to his younger age. At the time, yes. I've... So you didn't think he had... did you think he had a problem at the time? Yes. When Randy was added to the group, it created some tension because Jermaine, being the older and more famous brother, initially had reservations about Randy replacing him. However, fast forward to 1986, 11 years later, and Randy began a relationship with Alejandra, which lasted until 1992, during which they had two children together. Here's an interesting twist to the story. While dating Alejandra, Randy Jackson got married to Eliza Schaefer in August 1989. Nobody was chasing. People are saying, oh, Jafar was chasing poor... He would never do something like that or harm nobody. I the Jackson family's dysfunction is exemplified by the fact that Jermaine married the mother of his younger brother Randy's children. Randy began his relationship with Alejandra Oajaja in 1986 when she was about 17 years old and he was 24. Randy, who was seven years younger than Jermaine and three years younger than Michael, missed the peak of the Jackson's Motown fame. While he was too young to be part of the Jackson 5, he later joined the family business and toured with his brothers as he grew older. Jermaine told me that Michael had called him at that time and told him, are you in love with her? 
Randy and Alejandra had a lengthy relationship but never tied the knot. Alejandra said, Randy didn't treat me like I was the one. I just thought that Jermaine was different, that he was more family oriented. In 1995, Jermaine and Alejandra secretly married. Randy, understandably, was deeply affected and devastated by this turn of events, given the complex family situation involving his ex partner and his older brother. Once he said, Joe Blow down the street, but my brother? In the same house, she's a pig and my brother is a fool. Catherine, their mother, also had her reservations and did not warmly receive Alejandra, treating her more like hired help than a family member. Additionally, Randy withheld child support payments, a move that Jermaine found difficult to comprehend given the family's already complicated dynamics and financial struggles. The rift between the brothers had deteriorated to the point where they stopped communicating with each other. In 1997, there was a moment in the kitchen with Jackie, Tito, and Jermaine. Jermaine was deeply troubled by the prospect of having to fly with Randy and share the stage to accept their induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as the Jackson 5. The family's strained relationships had reached a breaking point, causing considerable emotional turmoil. We're just holding together, but it's, it's very tough. Sibling rivalry is a common occurrence in many families, but when both brother and sister are among the world's most renowned music icons, the dynamics can be even more complex. The relationship between Michael and Janet Jackson was undoubtedly complicated, marked by numerous dramatic highs and lows throughout the years. The last thing we said to one another. It was. Yeah. And said, I love you. And said, I love you too, Dunk. Despite the seven-year age difference between Janet and her older brother Michael, they shared a very close bond as children. Among the large Jackson family, Janet and Michael had a unique closeness, often appearing inseparable from one another. It must be very special. Very. To have that photograph. Mm. Well, no, the last time I saw Mike was maybe a month before. As a young girl, Janet's nickname was Dunk, a term playfully derived from Donkey, a nickname famously given to her by Michael. In her book, True You, Janet humorously noted that many of Michael's affectionate nicknames for her were related to her backside. The nicknames may have been playful, but it appears that Michael's comments towards Janet took a hurtful turn. In a new documentary, Janet has disclosed that Michael would sometimes be cruel and engage in fat shaming towards her during their childhood. In regarding all these incidents, people started believing that these siblings have always fought just to get their hands on Michael's fame and money. One person wrote, No wonder Michael distanced himself a little from his brothers. Sounded like too much drama that he didn't need nor wanted to be a part of. Another one added, I've never cared for Jermaine or Randy. Andy. Jermaine seemed to be always jealous over Michael. Michael was my number one, and I thought Marlon and Jackie were cool people. Serious allegations against MJ have had a significant impact on the Jacksons. Regardless of MJ's presence, the family has faced numerous challenges. Therefore, the unity within the family holds paramount importance, as it can either lead to losing or gaining everything.